shit. What up, though? Plug shitty. Nobody talking Shout out like my this. dog, Hank. Right sure. Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody plug like this, you know we got it all Dress from head to toe and hang nation, show you how to ball Subscribe to the channel right now, check out them interviews You can see me kicking it with Logic and the homie June Dropping dope content, every week now So many artists killed it on that plug city freestyle No ideas media, we moving kinda different Stay up in the lab, cooking up like your mama kitchen Number one in the streets, you know we got it locked They put times on the beat, so now I got it hot So tune in, leave a like and subscribe You locked in with Plug City, now enjoy the Ain't nobody fun like this, you know we got it all Dress from head to toe and hang nation, show you how to ball Subscribe to the channel right now, check out the interviews You can see me kicking it with Logic and the homie June Yeah, shout out to Plug City Make sure y'all go over here and tap in Leave a like and subscribe, Dope Ideas Media Yeah, ain't nobody fun like this Welcome to Plug City. I'm your host, John. Who I got with me up there? You got your boy Project Logic. You know what it is, man. We got a special guest today. Tez Tyson. The Wiz. Tez underscore Tyson on Instagram. Tez Tyson on Facebook. What's going on, man? Shit, man. Trying to get to it. Good seeing you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too, bro. You all right? Man, chilling, <laughs> chilling. You know. How many interviews you done did, Tez? <laughs> Actually, not many, bro. You got the first? I had a first official, like official, official. I that. <laughs> hey, I that. hey! Shout out, shout out to Dope Ideas Media. As always, shout out to us. Thank you for not thanking us. We'll thank ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got the boy Taz, man. Man, this is like, uh, like I'm, I'm a super big fan of what you do, man. Appreciate um, it. I kind of got introduced to you around the, uh, uh, with the Battle Rap Alpha League. Um, do you remember who your first battle was? Yeah. You got cooked. <laughs> Who was your first battle? He got cooked. <laughs> <laughs> <He got> cook. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And he up, lost bro. to Jag, too, but we're going to talk about it. It was Gangsta Jag. Gangsta Jag, yeah. man. He lost to Jag. Oh, Bruh. Bro, I better. <laughs> Gangsta Jag. You want to know what's crazy, though? This was going to really fuck you all up, bro. My first battle. Guess Y'all know who my first battle was supposed to be? Who? Dice, nigga. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> That's he crazy. was scared though. He turned himself in like two days. Uh, <laughs> Dice, you gotta Dice, answer, man. Dice, you got to answer for that, that one. Brother, That'd have been crazy, man. But I'm yeah. glad that I'm, that was your first. Glad one. That I'm glad that, that ain't happened. Yeah, first, the first. Yeah, I wasn't even ready, bro. Yeah, then Dice that different. Dice was already ready, bro. Like I was yeah. like, this shit was a joke. I don't think I even had like real punch. I think I just roasted niggas like the whole round. So, kind of tell us about how you got involved with the battle rap shit, man. How did you? How did that come about? Actually, uh, J. Real, that's my cousin. Okay. And we really was just riding off the Pontiac, picking on niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, I was just on some entourage shit, though, with him. You feel me? It was him and Dollar, they was rapping. You feel me? I made songs and shit. Yeah. And niggas was, they all, I had punchlines in my songs and shit, though. Right. So, niggas just, Niggas just always, you feel me, fucked with me on the music shit. So they just wanted me to come with them while they was, because Real ain't never rap. He, he can't even make a song, nigga. Yeah. Real can't make he a fucking song, He about that, song, which is bro. hilarious. Like, this, but this nigga a great battle rapper, though, yeah. bro. He come up with the craziest shit. But that nigga not going to say that shit on no beat, nigga. Not for shit. He ain't got no yeah. rhythm, cuz. So yeah. <laughs> That's a damn train, so, dog. <laughs> so we, we just Shout out to Joe Real. Respect for each other crab, though. Man, so yeah. we going out there. This one they had... Uh, Scheme Street. Okay. That shit was cracking heavy. It was like uh, K and um, Mark <laughs> Minor. Cool. You know, niggas like that. Yeah. I think Stack was out there. I seen Stack out there before. But they had like Max Terrellis and Mike Phelps and Snow and all. You know, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. that starter, you feel me? Yeah. That first group, dog, with the elite niggas, though. Mm -hmm. and, um, niggas, we just picking on them niggas, though. Like, they wanted to, like, really fight us at them <laughs> events, bro. We just coming out there like 10 deep, dog, calling everybody trash and trying to bet <laughs> niggas. Nobody ain't never want to bet us, though. You feel me? It's like, they ain't think we was sweet. We won't let them hear no content either, though. Because anybody had no battles, you feel me? Yeah. So they just like, man, I'm not about to battle you. You random as hell from Detroit, nigga. We already just don't like you because you're here. Nigga, y'all niggas ain't about to get no battle. They feeling like they them dudes, you feel me? Yeah. 
<laughs> <That's> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Amal finally took the bait, bro. I think real first like five battles was was cash bitch, man. But I seen them just cook niggas like five times in a row out there making cheese. I'm like, yeah. bro. I could do this shit because I'm rapping <laughs> with him in the car every time. Yeah. J-Real won a bet versus Logic in a battle. Sorry, Logic. Man, listen, man. Yeah, Listen, bro. Why, why, listen, I thought we was doing the Taz interview, oh, okay, bro. Okay, okay. Like, what is, what, is, what is we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Fired up, bro. Man, but yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. Shout out to J Real, man. Grab <laughs> your '93 hey, Honda Accord, man. You Logic know was fired up, nah, man. Man, that battle was all the way fucked up, dog. It, it was fun, though. <laughs> you want to hear it? Here it go. Yeah, but it's crazy because like by the time when me and J Real booked, uh-huh. I didn't like J Real. He didn't like me. <laughs> by the time we battled, we were super cool. Talking on the phone I mean, every day. Y'all, y'all are cool now. It's crazy, yeah. but y'all still throw little you shots every night. Yeah. Because it's got to. It's battle rap. It's like boxing. It's competitive. You know, you meet up, do the face off. Niggas be down there about to blast you and your shit right there. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just train yourself to hate a nigga, bro. Like, I think I want to battle this nigga. I hate him now. Like, inst- instant. So, like, have you ever. Like, I don't like that nigga. Have you ever felt like that during a battle where you wanted to. Where somebody took you there? Where you? I'm the only nigga, bro. That never hated a nigga before a battle. <laughs> Dan's cool with everybody. I don't give a fuck. Like, nigga, I'm about to come rap, bro. I don't really know you. <laughs> it's crazy. Fuck, it's like biologically, I don't think Taz can raise his voice. I think I don't think his shit goes oh, past man, six, bro. I swear to God. I be yelling, like, though, man. It's kind of hard to be you mad at a nigga talking cool. monotone. You wasn't cool with Oswald, but okay. <laughs> with who? Oh, Oswald. Oh, with who? Man, see the thing. I'll, Yo, send, you I'll send you the battle. Who? Uh, Oswald Cobblepot? It's like, who the no, fuck is John <laughs> Oswald. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a real person. It's a real person. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you were being funny. You okay. You got no business, man. I want no problems with yes. nobody from Cleveland. Them niggas do that not was, care. Oh, shit. That was a cash battle. I want betting, dog. Mm. I just had to get, I had to get tightened up. It was an ass whooping. I don't know why niggas do that, bro. Would. There's nothing positive that came out of that battle for Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, he's he's gained experience, but man. is he dope? <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. Is he dope? That's a long pause. Don't answer that. We'll keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said long pause. Pause. Long pause. Long pause. Long pause. Long pause. Long long pause. pause. Long pause. <laughs> In my speech just, is a just, long. <laughs> Shut up, man. Hey, we're not doing that. <laughs> hey, man. Oswald is. Oswald is Oswald. <laughs> he's not terrible, but he's battling Tez, and he had no business at that time. He was just too Tez. early, bro. It's too early in this. Is, is he dope now? Though, like, did he, did he progress? No. Just, uh, I ain't even coming up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Let's, let's keep this about Tez, right, man. man. So, Tez, how you doing, <laughs> man? <laughs> yo, hey, yo, Tez. So, I remember, like, yo, when you, you no, know, I kind of like to start off from where most people kind of, you know, started to recognize you, or your name started to get buzzing. Mm-hmm. From, from our standpoint, and then kind of move forward. So, like, it seemed like, um, you know, when you first started battling, it seemed more so like you was just having fun. You used to do the little, you know, I got time to chill, yeah, my nigga. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, so at what point did you really start to say, you know, I'm going to actually take this battle rap shit serious and actually put some effort into my performance and bars and shit? Uh, it was the first, all right, my first couple battles was kind of pushovers, I ain't going to lie. Mm-hmm. So, that joke shit was acceptable. I was going home with a win. It mm-hmm. was like a win that don't matter, though. It's yeah. like, fuck that whole battle. Like, a real filler-ass battle. Mm-hmm. I won, so I was happy because I don't even do this. In my mind, I'm just, a, like, a, a artist that stepped off of the all real, and I'm good at this, too. You know, I'm just, like, on a high horse. Then a nigga really came and tried to punch my lights off, bro. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what's funny, though? It's fucking Gambit, bro. Gambit. It was like... That was the first. Okay, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. Gambit ain't the first nigga that made me want to use bars. Because I had bars versus Gambit, bro. Mm-hmm. I just choked real bad. Yeah. It was my fourth battle. And it was like his 20th battle. Yeah, and I was in front of Norris already, bro. Okay. He's I, was, a I was like, in my, yeah, Gambit was my fourth or fifth battle. And I was in front of Norris, bro. And mm-hmm. I just I, I just choked. But <laughs> the first nigga that tried to tear my head off, though, I ain't going to lie, I was Piranha. My jokes mm. were good enough, though, because I had, I always, like I said, I always keep bars, too. But primarily, I was trying to roast niggas, though. He what? was younger than me. I felt like I was about to OG that nigga anyway, you feel me? Yeah. What, what we not about to do is we not about to uh, slight Jag. Jag kind of be giraffe pissed down your leg. Look, you crazy. He also, also be Creed, too. 
Hey, so, uh, Jack, Jack might have beat. He beat Bird. He ain't beat, <laughs> beat me though. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey. don't nobody want to accept the Jag law. Listen, bro. what we not about to do <laughs> is we not about to take time out of a Tez chasing interview. To talk about a nigga named Gangster Jaguar, like hey. we 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 not we're talking that, about. Bro. We want scam. Here at Plug City, we want we want we want scam. Uh, real shit though, bro. The thing about Jag, man. Yeah. Shout out to he Jag though, for real. Because he didn't rap better than me. Because he actually rapped better than me, bro. I didn't. Really he never rap. raps better than anybody. He rapped better than you. No, he rapped better than me. <laughs> I, I didn't look. Listen, bro. That was my first battle. I wouldn't even say I rapped. It sounded so like, bro, it sounded like Big Sean having a conversation with somebody. <laughs> That's funny. It That's was funny. like dry, you feel yeah. me? Like, Jag, you don't want it. Like, it was, I was really kicking it, bro. Do you remember Them niggas the put, like, everybody else was raw. Pause. Everybody else rapped raw, bro. <laughs> hey, and yo. and yo. a nigga had to hold a mic to me, bro. Like, I couldn't yo. rap. I couldn't just, I couldn't rap loud enough for the camera to pick up my voice, bro. Yeah. Like, I was really talking the whole battle, bro. That's yeah. it. Nigga. I ain't rap. I just went out there and roasted that nigga cleverly. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? What? And the nigga no just pun said intended, I won. Claire. And niggas was just like, I like, like, dog was yeah. whack. And dog ain't really rap, but I just liked him better. I laughed and shit. Like, and, mm. I, was, and I just won. <laughs> I was the winner for that. You wow, feel me? Shout out to I don't take pride in that win, though, bro. Yeah. So, and, I ain't gonna act like I ain't kick niggas ass. Let me, let me tell you here. something though, man. Well, well, we know what you've done, and you know when you when it was time to get busy, but you had two two on twos that was fire. Yeah. You and Dice. Dice. You and Polo Row. Dice. Polo Row being the, you and Polo Row was the latest Can we one. Get that in person. Hey, I thought y'all was on to something like this was gonna happen on a regular because that was yeah. crazy. It kind of did. We did the quarantine so tournament. We need. Rematch. We, need rematch. we we rematch. need With times of ice. Man, we need three rounds of that. Not to put in for whatever to get this in person. Man, I don't want to do it. Times and ice is my niggas. Know, like Row is, yeah, we all for like sure. this. That like shit hard to do, man. It's really hard. Two times. Have you seen you that battle though, Logic? I didn't see that one, but I know it's. I gotta was, show you the logic. I mean the uh, him and Polo, bro. They it was like. It, it was, was in it. They, in they did. Me you know, Rose it was like a video. It was a video battle. Ah, uh, okay. Where they did their part and the other person did their part, but they was in and out of the cameras rap. It was dope. It was I just. I see that. It was crazy. Check that out. We, we was the final. Uh, when we the final? final uh, tournament. Quarterfinal. Oh, yeah. They had to yeah, go against Final four. That was the win in my bracket. Yeah. yeah. And they cheated us, bro, because we won that. Yeah, won the battle. We won for sure, bro. Yeah. Them niggas were just popular. Uh, shout out to Tom. <laughs> that nigga just been doing this thing. I ain't been battling. That was a little pop out for me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That shit was dope. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah niggas, uh, niggas really can't fuck with me, bro. Fuck your shit. That nigga's the most humble shit talker. That's what I'm saying. So we got to get, get him to <laughs> I could just hear this nigga in fourth grade now. <laughs> Tez, where your assignment? Man, I ain't doing that shit because you might as well go here and rap that shit out, man. <laughs> Like he, was the, like he was the king of talking back to his parents. Get that room clean. <laughs> you get that room clean. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I ain't say nothing. Hey, bro. It was, <laughs> I was the best talk kid back, in the world, bro. Cool as fuck talking back, though. Like, yeah, I ain't doing that My shit. My boy's been this deep since I was eight. I could never talk back. <laughs> <laughs> I was always getting caught. Like, nigga, we know that's you. <laughs> like, I was eight. My voice was 32. Like, bro, I couldn't get away with shit. <laughs> like, they always heard me in the back talking. But no, um. Kind of moving forward a little bit. What do you feel from the time you spent being involved in battle rap till your final battle? What do you feel like you got out of battling? Like, was there any positives after other than the camaraderie? And, you know, I'm pretty sure you met a few cool people and got cool with a lot of people. What do, because a lot of people don't want to fuck with battle rap. A lot, well, the ones who don't want to fuck That's with shit. battle rap, they say, what are you getting out of it? What is, you know, what, what, why am I doing this? Like, what did you get out of battle rap? There's two things that I, I always, be glad I started battle rapping for, bro. First thing was like real recognition from other niggas that is doper, doper than me, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause it's hard to get people to listen, bro. Mm -hmm. So that shit's so different from selling music and shit, bro. Mm -hmm. So many niggas making music. It's just like another song. Uh, you feel me? Like yeah. they might do it, they might not. You gotta hope they do it when they walk away. All that little bullshit, bro. I never just felt like real good about 
music because I ain't never been a flashy nigga or no shit like that. That just I never did nothing personally to make a nigga just be like, I want to hear everything this nigga got to say. Mm-hmm. I know I was kind of just like another nigga rapping as mm-hmm. far as West go. Like in battle rap, though, I was something so different, bro. Like you had to tune in. Mm-hmm. And it's like people either hate. I was so fucking, uh, like my category so isolated, bro. Like you mm-hmm. just hate me or you love me. Like it ain't even no in between. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you could find a way to appreciate my my style, then you just love me, dog. Like I'm probably a favorite fucking rapper, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you, if, I don't know. Some and some people take a couple battles to get in and shit. Like three, four battles in, they be like, I don't like that nigga. Mm-hmm. But then they start kind of realizing why the people that like me like me because they just like, why do y'all keep you feel me? And then yeah. they really just you feel me switch their mind to that slate where they just optimistic to my style, mm-hmm. and that shit just. It like break a dough down in their mind. Like, mm-hmm. damn, this nigga really cold as fuck. I like seeing that shit when you battling, you on stage. I see, I seen myself unlock the love in a nigga face. Oh, I'm on stage. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, damn, that nigga just changed my mind about him. You feel me? I like that. And and just confidence. The second thing is just confidence in general, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause nigga, in the studio, that's just your own sanctuary, bro. Yeah. It, it ain't like it ain't nothing like getting on that stage. So I've been in front of you feel me a couple hundred, damn close to a thousand people before mm. battling. You feel me? That shit is crazy. The feeling crazy, but I do that shit. I don't never <laughs> think about it. On you feel me? Yeah. Do you feel like the battle rap had more of a positive or a negative effect on the type of music you do? And the reason I ask is because for somebody like you, your music is totally different than your battles. Like your music is more of a vibe. It's a feel. Even when you rapping, you create a feel with your shit. And then battle rap, it's like when you battling, you are rapping, waiting for a response. Yeah. It's bar, 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 punchline, response. Yeah. Bar, 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 punchline, response. And a lot of times you find rappers who rapped first, they bring their rap style to battle rap and it don't work. Yeah. And then they got to critique it, tweak it a little bit, you know, get it set for battle rap. And now they music starts sounding battle rappy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sometimes. So, but then you find other people who, who does better for them. So for you, did battle rap help or hurt as far as their music making? It, uh, it helped. It helped. Because I, I figured out a way to, I figured out a way to, like, separate that shit in my mind. Mm-hmm. I really don't even write music while I got a battle or no okay. shit. That shit so, I make sure that shit feel different. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? But, I do learn shit in battle rap that I could put in my songs. Okay. I punch. It's like sometimes I do still, you feel me, punch mm-hmm. in a way where it should have, like, damn, I could have heard that shit in the battle. It would have been crazy, and I bet I beat and wasted it on the song. When I wasted it, yeah. it still count, but you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah. with, the, with the battle rap shit, I was, even though the battle rap shit helped my music, I still feel like my music shit helped my battle rap, my okay. battle rap shit more. Okay. You know I, mean? I think that's what make my battle shit. So different than everybody else. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't nobody that bad to sound like me battling. Mm-hmm. Really, you feel me? So let me because I come over there with that same smooth mm-hmm. charisma type shit. You feel me? Right now, as far as just kind of switch gears a little bit with your music career, do you feel like right now you are where you're supposed to be? Do you feel like you're ahead of where you're supposed to be, or do you feel like you're a little bit behind music wise? Where are you at right now? Behind for sure. Why? Why? Why is that? Um. Really, see, I hate to say shit like this. It's not really like lack of help or support, but I'm just, I'm just really a loner. So. Okay, by choice or just cause it's not niggas that you fuck with like that for real. I say by choice for okay. real. It's I would like help, but I'm not just gonna be rocking with anybody. And I feel you on that. People ain't extended their hand to me yet. Have you reached so. out to them? I didn't reach out to people before. To the right people, though. And it, I felt like that's the right people, okay. but they not around, so maybe they wasn't. You know, if you reach out to some people and you don't get the response, it'll, it'll, it'll make you not want to reach out. So I get yeah, that. Yeah, I got discouraged a lot of times, bro. I talk to niggas, and they, it's crazy because when I show niggas my catalog, they meet me, you feel me? It's like yeah. they want to be a part of They don't even understand why I'm not just, like, here, like, 
Like, yeah, you've already had fuck? this. We had this conversation in Will Black Studio. Like, yeah, I've been like, telling. How the fuck is you not like that nigga, bro? Like, right. you could really run this bitch. Like everything, bro. It's not really too much shit that's happening around this bitch. It's better than this shit you just let me hear. That's a fact. You feel me? Like that's that. a fact. And I'm saying that as a rapper, and it's crazy because it's like the shit me. pissed me off because I ain't gonna hold you up. It pissed me off because it's like I've been on the like uh since whenever we did that war room shit like four months before that. I don't remember exactly what the song was that did it, but I heard, I seen one of Ted's videos, because he was constantly posting content, constantly posting content. So, you know, social media, for about the first 100 days, you're just scrolling past it, like, okay, keep scrolling. After you keep seeing it, like, yo, let me check this shit out. And I'm like, yo, this shit is dope. So then I go back and start checking everything else, and I'm like, yo, this shit is dope. Like, this nigga got some fucking music. I'm sharing this shit, all type of shit. And, like, I just became, fuck knowing the nigga, I just became a fan of what he doing. And it's like, then we did the war room shit and we talking and tell like, you know, I'm thinking about taking a break. You know what I'm saying? Taking some time off or whatever. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm just so fucking confused at why is it that like, I look at a motherfucker like a LeBron James, like a Kobe, like a Jordan. You even go to music. Jay-Z started calling himself the best rapper and niggas was like, what? And then they started believing in it after he put the product out. Then Wayne came behind him, best rapper alive since the best rapper retired. Niggas was like, what? He like, oh yeah, nigga, here's the drought. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. And it's like the niggas who dope, the niggas who really that nigga, they always have to make the move first. Like, cause the moment you say you the best at something, ninety percent of the people gonna be there to you ain't better than this nigga, you ain't better yeah, than that nigga. To, that's just what that's just out. naturally how it works. And it's like when you got it, like you do everything good. There's nothing like my favorite song it, that you got is Jit. Like that is not a type of song that I could make. That is not the type of song that I would want to make. Yeah, that's it. But I can't dance that's for shit. Right. But I be in the crib when that shit come on, nigga. My <laughs> kids know some of the words to that shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, you make, I've been telling niggas for the longest, like, if I had a million dollars to invest in four artists, Taz would be one of the four. Like, you got it. Honey, bro. You got it. it. But it's like, you are going to have to do it. Yeah. Like, ain't nobody, the, the way, bro. when you're in a city like Detroit, when you're in a city like Pontiac in Michigan, we kind of like a Pontiac. follower state. This is just a hard cookie to crack, bro. Because we don't, you got to understand, like, we, it's been a long time since we've innovated. We've just now really starting with the Sada Baby sound, with the with the 42 Doug sound. We're just now really starting to innovate and be accepted mainstream-wise. A lot of the shit that we did was encapsulated here. Yeah. So getting other people to buy into it was rough. And it's like, when you going to be that nigga, you go follow anybody's story, anybody who hot now, anybody who been hot, you're going to find years and years of work before you find out who the fuck they was. Right, You're right, going right. to find years and years of them niggas, nigga, money bad, yo, who? The nigga from DeMario? Like, that nigga? Right. It, it takes time <laughs> for that shit. And it, and it just feels like, to me anyway, from the outside looking in, it feels like you taking your foot off the gas right before the finish line. You know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, no, but it feels like. And then ain't even that. My, uh, my fallback kind of strategic, bro. Like I said, I'm about to drop a uh, a tape. It's gonna have 25 tracks on it, mm. and I already just shot like five, six videos. Dope. Okay. Just, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. I just took time to really focus, bro, and I'm just gonna come with a whole wave instead mm. of slow rolling it like I did. Even though the slow roll that shit worked though. Slow roll worked. That shit worked. Cause yeah, cause shit was shit was beating for a minute for real. I ain't gonna lie, but. You ain't got to give up your plan, but um, do you have <coughs> your plan in motion? Because it's like yeah, what you did, happen. what you already did, let people know you can rap. Right. You, niggas know you can rap. Niggas know you can make songs. You done, I done seen video, just about every video I seen that you done had a feature with, and you done either had the best verse or stood your ground with whoever. Yeah. So it's like now the next step in your marketing plan, in your advertising plan, in your publicity as far as getting you up there. You got all that already worked out. Hey, that's the stuff. Good on that. Okay, cool. Cause that, that that just seems to be like what the what the next step is, getting you in front of the right people. Yeah, that's what it's really all about. I'm I'm doing a, it's a song dump, bro. The whole tape. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's just it's just a dump. It's called yeah. fire dump, bro. It's okay. Every song I didn't put out mm -hmm. in the midst of making all the three CDs I put out last year. Mm -hmm. It's just everything in between and a couple new songs because I ain't never stopped working. Okay. It's just so it's them couple of new songs, okay. And then all the old songs, but like I said, I'm shooting videos. I'm really, I'm really not about to drop too much after that. That's why it's so deep. Mm, okay. I have promotion shit going. 
Yeah. The whole time. It's too much music out here already. Yeah. I got enough music to just bring that shit back around. It's still new. You feel still me? promote. It's still people still who ain't heard it. Up. Like, that Dude, shit works. It, that, that shit works. And that's where a lot of people fall off. That's why I asked about that. Because yeah. a lot of people make dope music. Promote that shit for the first month and let it fall to the wayside. Yeah. And shit get lost. Yeah, and low standards sound like how, like, yeah. like if they uh, drop a video and then get like, oh, yeah, we can say 10, 20,000 views, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel like it flop or or they feel like that's enough and shit. Like, yeah. bro, that's not nobody. The, the that co- really could be like 6,000 people watched it a couple times. Like, if that. You feel me? If with that, them really. paid ads, we know how that shit works with the bots right, and all right. that. So it's it's fake like, clicks, fake yeah. clicks, all that. So Impressions, yeah. all, all that type of shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so man. Much shit out here, man. So you can't. You can't really feel like that bitch did what, yeah. it, what it was supposed to do <clears throat> when they get a, a low high peak. That's a fake high peak. Yeah, like that ain't it. Ain't really high. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just that you somewhere secluded where that look like a lot to you. Yeah, because you just ain't out here. It's a whole world. You gotta Facts. include yourself in the world. Facts. I, I don't feel like a city nigga. I don't even think locally, bro. Mm-hmm. Me. Anything I do, if if a hood like it or something, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I love that feeling too, but mm-hmm. it just ain't enough, dog. Yeah. And I ain't about to just quit. I ain't gonna feel like the wave over when they get tired of it. Them them two hundred motherfuckers, Facts. they gonna get tired of it. Of course, they heard it first. But yeah. like, all right, it's another two hundred you can get to real quick with the same song, nigga. Exactly. Yeah. So I got so much shit out right now. I really just feel like I'm about to just hit some new areas with the same shit. Hey, and that's the next step. You you got to really invest in yourself. You really got to have the confidence in doing that. Right. A lot of motherfuckers like to stay in their comfort zone and where they know they can get their homeboys to be right there by the stage yeah. or the few females they fuck with to come out. Right. And stepping out, hitting that road, you really got to win them fans over. Yeah. You really got to have something quality about you. Um, but let's talk about that, though. Um, you been hitting the stage lately at all? I know it's crazy, bro. I really don't do no shows. <laughs> I really don't. Why not? All right, so most shows that I get, I'm going to just say the ones I get offered for yeah. real, they like open mics. Ah. So not beneficial. Yeah. I did yeah. that shit for years. You feel yeah. Me? It's practice as hell. Yo, yo, yo crowd is really just like other niggas that's, that's mm-hmm. after you. Mm-hmm. On to get on stage. Yeah. It's just artists. Like, it's not no fans at open mics. Mm-hmm. You, feel me? you can make other artists your fans, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But them, they not never gonna take you more serious than they self. Like yeah. you know, they out trying to get the same shit you trying, trying to get, get, yeah, nigga. Like so, even if they fucking with you heavy, acting like it in your face, fake showing love on, on the internet or whatever, bro. Still competition to them. Yeah. Leg up, nigga. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. They get hip to some shit, nigga. They ain't gonna be like, damn, this opportunity just came mm-hmm. through for me. But I think this nigga be better with this opportunity because. And they ain't gonna yeah. admit that you better than them or none of that. For shit. Sure, for sure. They just sit back and watch you just, you feel me, admire their situation, mm-hmm. and they ain't even really ready for that shit, and it's just really a wasted opportunity. Yeah, you I can. Yeah, at this point, a lot of us we kind of passed the open mic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Standpoint, the waiting in line, being on the list, waiting yeah. to do your song, DJ it's sound like system feel. shitty. I literally just feel above <laughs> that shit. I ain't even trying to sound cocky. No, no, no. Bro. I feel, I feel you. like I'm not about to wait. When somebody call my name on no fucking list, bro, I feel like that's <laughs> <laughs> book no, I feel me though. You feel me? Yeah. Like, what I'm saying me, though, man. as far as putting the show together though, like you gotta you gotta realize like these like for me, for, this is just me speaking from personal experience. The shows are the best way to gauge what your reach really is, um, because you know you can get drop a video and get twenty thousand views, yeah. even if you say those twenty thousand is really six thousand people. Just watch it. Okay, how many How many of them 6,000 can you get to come pay $10 a head, $20 a head to watch you perform? You know what I'm saying? That's when you really create your value. That's when you really can touch people. Right. That's when, because. Uh, that's uh, the crazy thing, yeah. though, about that. I always had, a, like, a physical fan base, bro. Mm-hmm. I could I could not get no views on some shit on the internet. Mm-hmm. When I drop a flyer that I'm about to perform, somewhere yeah. I say I need people. Yeah. To, Coming though, yeah. That's the only thing about them. That's how I stay relevant. Like people, mm-hmm. people do try to book me because they know this nigga got mm-hmm. like a solid. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Up to a hundred, it might not be a hundred every time. Yeah, the show. You feel me? Yeah. Between fifty and hundred people go come out because he going off the strength of your name alone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you could put your own show on for real. Yeah, you can curate yeah. your own. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I've been, I've been uh, I, ain't, I ain't really want to bring it out okay. too early, bro. I am <laughs> fuck it though. Yeah, it's getting close to that time though. I'm gonna do a concert, bro. Mm. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna have a couple people open up for me, and I'm gonna headline that bitch. That's dope. Yeah. Let me ask you this on the I music. I just want my following to be cold enough. For, yeah, you know, I don't want to just rap some songs, niggas. I'm know. i about to put these songs like in niggas' heads for real, for real. Mm-hmm. That's why I said that's the strategy. Though. Yeah, I'm get the promotion going. Yeah, and all songs. I'm gonna bring them back because mm-hmm. even the people that know that shit. Back, they gonna, you feel me? I know yeah, you building the, the actual hype. fan base of that shit. They see how another motherfucker hype, like it's some shit they know, they feel left out. They want to get hit, you feel me? Back. So my two of your cousins just, I want to know the words. Cause dog, <laughs> yeah. shit came on, dog got, you feel me? Yeah. Hey, you feel me? You got three fans now. Let me ask you, what does a, sta- a Taz chasing stage show look like? Because like, you just seem like you always too cool to sweat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you, like you gonna get on stage and just be like, I get in the zone, you know what I'm saying? Dog. Like you actually be on stage, like moving around. Yeah, like what's it? What's my jacket? You on. act like you gonna get a couch on the stage. Yeah, it just seemed like. You know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> hey, when I first started rapping, I said all my shows I'm gonna sit on a little stool. Just, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm about to say a poem or something. Like Lauren shit, Hill bro. with a yeah, guitar. Yeah, some spoken word ass shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Be tripping though. <laughs> Yeah, Lauren here, nigga, not no, gonna show up to his own show. Really <laughs> it just depends on who with me, though, bro. My energy feed off, off my, you know, my surroundings too, bro. Like I need like, like if Dollar and Times around me, I'm yeah. not gonna be cool, bro. Yeah, they might fuck around, look cooler than me, bro. Them niggas turn me up so crazy. Yeah, it's stupid, and crazy. it's funny you say that, you, cause you and Dollar in the same category. <laughs> I mean, he was going by J Dot Dollar Sign. I was not a fan of nothing he did, bro. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, battle music. I wasn't a fan. I, you know what I'm saying? He, he, bro, it, was, it wasn't good. Remember when he battled uh, Deal and he was the driver and the shooter? Oh, man. Don't, <laughs> like, uh, like, this nigga don't was like, bring that back. But no, I, the reason I'm comfortable bringing it up is because, like, the nigga is, is dope as fuck now. Yes, he Like, is. with me being from the Yak, you know what I'm saying, we had these music debates all the time. And it's a few niggas from Detroit a few, it's more than a few, but just from the battle rap scene, on the music tip, who actually dope as fuck. Yeah. Who niggas out there have no idea that's dope as fuck. They judging about what they see on the battle rap stage. And Dollar is fucking dope. Dollar Tez five. is dope. Uh, what's my man? I I'm not trying to be funny, but my man who looked like Nocturnal. I'm Kales. Boss Kales yeah. is dope. <laughs> my bad, I don't want no problem. Don't shoot me, bro. Like, don't shoot me. I can't even say bro because he a crib. Don't shoot me, Crow. I don't want to get shot. Um, Kales is you dope. Just, you just made the list, though. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. I just lost some weight, man. I ain't trying to get shot. He about right. to make a post about you right now. Um, But he's he's fucking dope. <laughs> Al Jones is dope on the... Al, Al Jones, Jones is fire. But it's a lot of these dudes who dope, who a lot of people just judging them off who they were in 2013, 2014. So every time we having these conversations, I'm pulling up files, YouTube videos like oh, these niggas is dope right. and it's a lot of niggas that's getting up on them niggas and dollar was one of them niggas it's like yeah. you see uh uh evolution in him as an artist evolution in him as a battler you know what i'm saying from when he was like okay to okay he's good to oh this nigga actually kind of dope like you know what i'm saying so it's funny that you mentioned that name because y'all two niggas kind of parallel to me as far as y'all style like he yeah, part of that group who right who now. would be next up like y'all niggas fire for real i ain't got no problem saying this shit like i feel like niggas that is dope that's the only nigga I be wanting to see go before me, bro. <laughs> Dollar got dope to me. He was on one of your songs um, when he was talking about all them guns. Strap. He went crazy. That was the intro for the battle. Oh, my God. Yeah. He went crazy. He dope. Hey, that's what made. I was sick. Look, I'm on my like third mixtape. You feel yeah. me? Look, yeah. hey, Dollar, like, Dollar ain't never dropped none, bro. That nigga <laughs> always tell me, like, nigga, I admire you, bro. You really drop mixtapes, nigga. Like, how the fuck you do that, nigga? Like, I'm like, bro, I'm, I just walked him through. Like, nigga, we about to do this shit. Nigga, let's drop together. <laughs> fuck that shit. Man, dog. Ate me on my shit. Hey, <laughs> I was like, he went crazy. I'm like, God damn, so Dollar. Crazy, dog. Yeah, Dollar was floating on no, the floor. Yeah. Like, I was the yeah. coldest, so I was just like, Dollar Dump. Have you heard that? Complete dogs get some. I'm going to play it for you. Man, man. Dollar Dump. Man, I wish I was. That's a... old as shit, man. I'm yeah, that shit. Was your first, I came to your crib and got that mixtape from You did, dog. Yeah. That shit was I, dumb. The Underground King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Under, That's crazy. <laughs> So you recently did a song with Vezo. Yeah, that's just fire. How how how's that experience? It was uh, actually one of my better experiences with other 
artists, man, I don't be liking niggas, bro. I know it. I <laughs> it know it. But we got to talk about this because you don't do that often unless it's dollars, you know, somebody you're close to. But Yeah, no, nah, it, was, it was a lot of Crip Love. Uh, Kels put me on them. Yeah. Or put them on to me, rather. You feel me? And shit, he showed me a lot of love on that shit. I paid, I paid something, but I ain't paid what niggas was paying. That's Not dope. even close. So I'm always thankful for that. That's what's up. And that nigga, I know that nigga respect me too off the song. You feel me? And this plug city. Got so we out. got to we got to say what the name of the song is, where you can find it too. Set party man, bitch on everything. It don't matter. Just a video on YouTube. Any streaming platform you fuck with, just type that shit in. To it's chasing. Sure, sure. You also got and a song Bezo. with an all star. Yeah, Jr. Jr. That shit fire. Yeah, Dog Walker, right? <laughs> that's on hard. Dog, dog yeah. Walker, yeah, that's, that's on hard. That was one of my favorite experiences. I wouldn't have been in that video with that big ass dog in it though. Hey, it's funny. That nigga <laughs> Jr. said he, he was like, I ain't getting that scene with that dog. <laughs> <laughs> That dog was big as fuck. I'm like, nah, fuck like, that. No, that nigga tried to make me do my whole part before he pulled up with that bitch. He was, he was, he was like, just go ahead, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I was like, man, bring your ass home. And dog. you got a video for that, so you know you can yeah, check that out on YouTube. All, all the slaps, dog. You do a lot of videos, man. That should be slapping ain't too. Really listening to music with all the visual. Yeah, it really got to catch your eye for it catch your ear these yeah. days. That's just weird, yeah, sure. but that's the way it is. Unless you already established, you feel me? Drake and Kanye, can can I'm dropping Friday and you don't see shit and just don't give clever no flashbacks, yeah, man. Please, though. <laughs> nah. okay. You, clever was writing dear to Kanye letters <laughs> on Facebook. I was just about to say, what's more. the deal with that? So. This nigga said Donda a thousand times before the intro. <laughs> he talking about he said Donda. He was in Donda, Donda, Donda. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. At night, bless mama, bless daddy, and please release Donda tonight. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Say his prayers at night. Man, what? I ain't shit. Stan, yeah. <laughs> One more. That, uh, that, song, that song was hard, man. I got visuals for really all the shit. That I did that was supposed to really put some power behind me, and in your opinion, these these visuals do help, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Because I want I want the people that's listening and watching this. You know, you got to invest in what you're doing. You got to you, you got to spend that chicken. Got to spend dog. that money with that videographer. That shit, cool. yeah. You need a good one. Don't need a just, good one. Don't not, just, not just go any. Get a nigga with a camera, bro. I made that mistake a couple of times. I even got to the point where. I really want my own team behind me, so I just got like a yeah. nigga, one of my my homies, like trying and trying to get caught on that shit. He ain't the coldest, but we did a couple. We put them out. It takes time, but them bitches don't do what them other ones do. Just yeah. but the it, facts, it, nigga. You got a team together, and and he working on it. It, it only gets better. Yeah, it takes practice. We gonna keep going, cause he gonna it's gonna get like that. But shit, right now, you just gotta pay that money, dog. Yeah. yeah so I've been fucking with everybody, though. I've kind of just been. I kind of been ping ponging, you feel me? When I see a nigga drop, if that shit crispy, I'll be like, damn, I might fuck on my. When I watch yeah. other niggas' videos, like Sada Baby or, yeah. you feel me? Just anybody. I see him drop a, a Detroit videographer I ain't really work with. I'm about to go give him a shot real quick. For sure. Let me man. ask you this. I see you guys trash with Jay Nutty? Yeah, that's. Jay Nutty, my, Big Herc, Stretch like Money, Vezel. Let me ask you this. Do you feel a need to. When you get on tracks with these other artists with these features or whatever, who may have bigger names or whatever the case may be, does that put more pressure on you when you're writing? To like, well, let me ask you this. Let me start. Let me take it. Take that back. When you do a song, do you already know you? I'm gonna put such and such on this as you're doing it, or do you do the song and then be like, let me reach out to bro? It happened both ways. Okay. Sometimes I'd be like, I want a song with family dog and then i'm gonna write some shit in that nigga realm okay but sometimes i write some shit like i got a song right now i wrote it mm -hmm. i didn't have nobody in mind for it mm -hmm. when i got done with my first verse i was really gonna solo that bitch when mm -hmm. i got done with my first verse i'm like I, i'm never gonna drop this if i can't get payroll on it mm -hmm. like i i gotta get payroll i ain't i never spoke to dog in my life i don't know if that's gonna happen yeah or nothing but Nigga, if you if you even hear this shit, nigga, when you get a chance, 
tap in. I got some chicken for you, bro. I got some work for you. Nigga, this bitch not dropping without that nigga on that bitch. I That's don't care. Mm. I don't care about no nothing around that shit. If we're on like some mutual people or somebody you fuck with, don't I don't fuck all that shit, bro. Come hop on this shit. This business. Come get on this shit. That's what's up. So, so you you pretty much saying that as you're writing, if you know a feature gonna be on there, you're gonna tailor it to the feature. And sometimes, or you sometimes either sometimes I pull niggas to my real though. Okay, that, like I got a song I got a song with Stretch where I knew he was gonna be comfortable as hell. Mm -hmm. But I got a song mm -hmm. where I thought I I got a song that made Stretch, you know he kinda you feel me? He got an arrogant aggressive yeah. style, bro. Yeah. I made Stress. that nigga cool as hell on some shit though. You feel me? Like I really pulled that nigga to my room. Mm -hmm. And I, it was at a time, it's crazy. I hit him up. I hit him up one day, then like two days later, he just started doing a, like a fire sale on features. Like I'm doing features for it. Like it was like a real low ticket. I can't remember what it was, but right. he just for a week, nigga, you get a stretch money verse for a real good ass price, bro. Mm -hmm. And it it kind of discouraged me from wanting to do it because I wanted him on it mm -hmm. out the gate. But when he did that, it made me not want to do it. Like it's gonna lower the value, like, yeah. 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 Like, just just microwave and some shit. Yeah. yeah. I want it if I <laughs> if I would have had dropped it before he did that, it would have been more respect on that shit. Yeah. It would have been like he worked with me because he had he had to respect me some kind of way to right. do something yeah. with me. Not because he worked yeah. with everybody not else. He was and... Just doing a little D, you feel me? Yeah. But that shit made me that shit really made me uh, I want finished with it when I said that to myself. Like I want to stretch on it. Mm -hmm. Man, when I when I seen him do that sale, that shit made me just take it all the way left. Like, all right, I'm just about to, I'm going to do it. And I was about to probably pay more than this, so fuck it. I'm about to get the deal, obviously. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. But I'm about to take this nigga so far out of his element, you feel me? Which ain't nothing I feel like he couldn't do. That nigga, you feel me? He a, he a real rapper, nigga. Like, he do this shit. So For I sure. ain't feel like he wasn't going to be able to do it. But I wanted to get that nigga a song that nobody else wasn't about to send that nigga. Period. Mm. You feel me? And that shit, I shit. Now we like cool. Like that's my nigga. Like boom, nigga. Like that's dope. Yeah. And he'd tell me, and we sit up talking, we chilling, and he'd just be like, "Bro, I don't know what made you send me that shit, but it was a breath of fresh air, bro. Everybody, I got sent." 20, 30 of the same fucking song. <laughs> and I was just getting tired of that, rapping that shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. like, you the only nigga sent me some other kind of shit, you feel me? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Humble arrogance, like, nigga be so arrogant, but he said so we cool, you don't even be mad. We gonna do some cool shit, bro. Yeah, man, that's I, what I, I do. I turned up, nigga. Fuck that yeah, right I do now. different <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> I get some hoes real fast, bro. <laughs> that's <was>, uh, <laughs> All right, man. So we ain't gonna hold you too much longer, here, man. We done had you for a while. We done had you knock out the freestyles, man. Um, but once again, man, let the people know where they can find you, where they can follow you. You know what I'm saying? Drop some of your, your YouTube so they can check out what you got, man. Yeah, Tez underscore chasing on Instagram, Tez chasing on Facebook, and Tez cash tag Tez chasing on cash app. Chasing singles. <laughs> hey, the first thing on plug is drop, you drop the cash out. Hey, just in case you was wondering. Just in case you feel me. You hit him up for a feature, you know what I'm saying? You already know where to send it. And you can get them, you can shit. you can listen to them ch uh chasing singles yeah. on all platforms. All right, one, two, and three. And get ready. Uh, a couple more weeks, man. I'm gonna drop the chasing singles, fire dump, man. Wait, wait, hold on, Tess. You got some fire some some dope clothing too, man. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, this is me right here. I don't even know where the fuck. <laughs> it's on me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, I got man. a I got a chasing singles uh crew neck. That's a dope yeah, sale. That's my favorite motherfucker. Yeah, that motherfucker dope. That's my favorite piece of merch, bro. Real talk. That motherfucking uh crew neck, that black crew neck, bro. So if somebody wanna get some merch from you, how they do it? How they uh, go that's about an Instagram page too, man. I got an official site coming out soon. Actually, it's already set up. I've been being lazy. I ain't gonna lie to him. I just ain't put the pictures on that bitch. So <laughs> you can't. I'm you can't it, start right. an Instagram and not put the pictures up. No, too. the Instagram got the pictures. I'm talking about the official site. The like official. The oh, okay. My dot oh, shit. Com. Okay. I got a dot com, but I just yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me? I just need to upload them pictures. I just gotta man. put them pictures on there. I got your. But everybody on the gram anyway, it's coming. Yeah. So I just, I just inbox right you on, now, I just inbox you on the gram and come get it. <laughs> yeah, you That's already a, know, you tapped in. You, just, you ain't even got a call. You pull up. I'm just going to start bringing two X's outside. Like, what you want, <laughs> come on, man. Don't do that. Man, you know you need three X, man. Don't do it like that. I'm in a two X. I'm in a two X. <laughs> two X plus. 
<laughs> like Disney Plus, 2X Plus. <laughs> Even on, on Instagram, though, uh, Chasing Life Clothing, uh, one word, no no, uh, no symbols or nothing like that in there. That's what's up, man. Chasing Life Clothing on Instagram. All right. I'll see the C with the wing. Just enter that motherfucker and, and look at everything. I, I'm, I like doing custom shit the most, so don't feel like you need to find something that you see on there. You hook it up. And order that and tell me if you want jeans, jogging, sweat, track, you feel me, and tell me some colors, bro. Just let me get busy. That's when I do my best work. But you, can, me, you can really tell me verbatim what you want, but if you let me do my thing, that's like my call to shit. Just send me like a style and some colors and just let me come back with something. That shit always be the hardest, man. That's what's up, man. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> yeah, man. awkward pause, but we, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was, I was hopping on, hopping on the gram, checking some shit out, man. But um, once again, man, we definitely thank you for coming out, man. Thank you for fucking with us. On behalf of myself, on behalf of the Plug City staff, Dope Ideas Media, Ang Nation TV, Project Logic, June, Tess Chasing, Plug City. <laughs>